Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make much free campaign we go about looking at how we can fix touch not working on redmi devices now in case the touch on your redmi device is not working let's look at a few troubleshooting solutions now one of the few mistakes that many other creators do is by suggesting steps that you need to do by entering into developer options or doing something on the device but let's understand here that the touch itself is not working so suggesting any solution that has to do with pressing or tapping something on the screen isn't a viable solution so the thing that actually works here is like force rebooting the phone or force restarting the phone so what you can do is like in case the touch isn't working on your screen what you're supposed to do is just hold on to the power and the volume down button both together a screenshot will be taken don't worry and just hold on until you the screen goes black press as soon as the screen goes black release it don't hold it any further if you do that you will get the fast boot uh, issue and like after that again there are certain things that you then need to do basically you need to hold on to the power button then for a certain period until the phone again reboots normally otherwise like you know you can panic and stuff like that so don't need to worry simply just press the power and the volume button and like hold on until the screen goes black and then from there the phone reboots and now you will see that all the touch and everything is working basically you just need uh like you know the phone to just kind of restart well you can do the normal reboot because you need to like you know uh press the power button and you need to tap on the reboot but that doesn't work right because the touch is not working anymore and therefore like you need to use the power and the volume buttons now another method that you can also try doing is hold on to the power and the volume up button again press both of them together until the screen goes black and as soon as it does go black release it so there you go it goes black i release it now if you don't release it you will enter into the recovery options and once you enter into the recovery options you need to use the volume buttons to navigate so wherever you see reboot use the volume buttons to navigate and then use the power button to basically make that selection so if you by chance enter into the recovery options you need to do that if you by chance enter into the fast boot mode if you hold on to like the power and the volume down button together and like you know you just keep holding them until you see the fast boot then you need to press the power button itself for a long period of time or power of the volume up button for a long period of time until you come out of the fast boot mode so again like here we have entered into the phone now we can press all buttons and everything the touch and everything works perfectly fine so this way of force restarting the phone that's what you should know always you basically need to restart the phone some of the apps may have caused this there may have been a os conflict so the operating system on your android may have bugged up there are many many reasons for this happening a simple reboot or a simple restart of the phone will help solving all whatever has gone wrong it will help fix the issue and magically you will see that the touch has now started working well guys if this helps consider subscribing to our channel please do share this with your friends and family there is no need to panic whatsoever you don't need to go to the like you know store and spend like thousands of bucks to get this thing fixed when you can do this at your home so watching a simple plain youtube video so do subscribe do stay in touch let me know in the comment section how you find the tutorial also if possible do share this on social media i am doing great i hope you are doing great as well until next time it's me amnan signing off